Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a great day. Today we are doing a Hespori bossing guide for Old School RuneScape. Let me know if you want to see any more bossing guides in the future, but before we begin, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell. So Hespori is located here at the Farming Guild. You can use a skills necklace or the fairy ring CIR to get here. Now onto the requirements. The only real requirements for the boss are 65 farming to gain access to the room in the Farming Guild where Hespori is located, and also 60% host city is favour. However, I would recommend having 60 plus in all melee stats and 37 prayer for protection against its magic attacks as well. Hispori's main attacks are magic and ranged, which can inflict poison damage. Its special attack binds you and can have a max hit of 41 if you don't free yourself. Its regular attack, however, can only hit a max of 16. The main drops players kill Hispori for would be the bottomless compost bucket at a drop rate of 1 in 35. The other notable drops include the farming pet at 1 in 5k and the unique seeds at 1 in 3 that offer significant buffs to farming within the farming guild. The average drop at the time of recording from Hispori is around 32.5k. So this is the gear that I would recommend for Hispori. Uh, the helm doesn't really matter, just something that adds some sort of bonus to you. I wear an Amulet of Glory, a Fire Cape, I have an Abyssal Whip as it's my best slash weapon, and that's what Hispori is weak to. I've got some Tank, Barrows, Body and Legs, I've got a Dragon Defender, Barrows Gloves, D-Boots and a B-Ring, just because I can. But that is really about it. You just need anything that gives you decent slash bonus. So my recommended inventory for Hispori is as follows. We start with a super set. You can use a super combat. I just don't have any currently on this account. A super anti-poison or anything to negate poison damage. Some food to heal. You don't need that much, but I recommend kind of anything lobsters or better. Uh, farming supplies, in this case a rake, seed dibber and spade, some darts to kill the blooming flowers quickly, and finally a Hispori seed to set up my next kill. Okay, so onto the Hispori kill itself. You know when Hispori is ready to be killed, when you can see the blooming Hispori sprout outside of the cave is completely in bloom. All you have to do is enter. If this is your first time killing Hispori, you will need to plant a seed off the bat in this uh, farming spot. It has no need at all for compost or anything like that. Uh, what you want to do first is equip your darts. You're going to want to drink your pots. And that is all the real preparation for the kill. Uh, you want to put on protect from magic and then begin to harvest. So off the bat, you want to attack all the flowers on the outside. They only have 10 HP each. Make sure that you use your anti-poison. Once that's complete, you want to get on Hispori, put on your piety or any sort of prayer that you have, and then just dump some specs straight into Hispori. Every uh, 100 damage that you do, Hispori will uh, basically rebloom the flowers on the outside. You're just going to want to make sure that you attack them the best that you can, and then straight back on Hispori. So here is a perfect example of, of Hispori's uh, special attack. All you want to do when you see uh, a chat message in the box saying that Hispori entangles you in some vines is just click away as quick as you can, as many times as you can, or it will hit you for the 41 max hit. But I believe that this kill is pretty much done. As you can see, very minimum supplies that you used. We also got a PB of 117, which is amazing. Then all you have to do is clear the uh, Hispori patch. Get yourself the loots. We managed to get an Iasaur seed and some Whiteberry seeds. Plant you next to Hispori. And then I believe the normal amount of time for Hispori to grow back is within one to two days. But that, everybody, is basically the kill. There's really nothing amazing about killing the boss, but the 12.7k farming XP per kill is worth it for less than two minutes of your time, and the bottomless compost bucket is great for people who want to save some inventory space. Thank you all for watching my guide, guys. If there are any other bosses you guys would like to see, let me know in the comments. Enjoy your Hispori kills, and see ya!